Alrighty, well, good morning, everybody. Um, time once again for my uh, pseudo cast, and uh, this one here, I got a feeling it's probably just gonna be a shorter than normal one. Um, I I made the mistake of not getting a nap in earlier, so I'm kind of feeling like crap right now. So, so yeah, but um, like yesterday, uh, keeping with the tradition, um, just um, I'm going with uh, planets this time around. And this one here is Planet Venus. Um, and um, I did have to kind of struggle a little bit to find the right sound for it. Um, I did, I did find one, but uh, it, it didn't sound anything like what this uh, what this planet looks like. So I kind of cried foul on it. I did, however, I found another one. This is gonna be um. What what at all? What Venus sounds like right on the surface? Uh, it's called Venera 14. It's the it's the satellite that uh successfully not successfully landed. So so and it is gonna sound a little bit janky. So like the sound just kind of constantly cutting in and out and all that. So oh and um. I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy Peach Mango flavored for, for all the good it'll do me. But uh, in case anyone's curious, uh, the planet Venus, what you're seeing here is how you can't even see the surface at all. It is completely covered by clouds. But yeah, that's what you're seeing here. This all this white and a little bit of brown. That's it's all cloud cover. So and um it basically took uh it basically took 14 tries to to find us to actually launch a satellite to this planet that actually worked. Um, because basically the planet is very, very toxic. Like, um, it's, I mean, it's constant acid rain, but since the, the planet itself is so hot, I don't know the exact stats, but it's basically about as hot as an oven. Um, the rain basically evaporates before it even hits the ground. So, underneath this cloud cover, it's like, it's like a green haze. It's like a yucky green haze. If, if, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, the Dungeons and Dragons universe, um, the cloud kill spell, yeah, that's what this planet is like. It was like the first thing that came to mind. But um, otherwise, um, I didn't really do a whole lot. Um... Most of it was just sitting on my butt, um, just watching various videos and stuff. I, it was really hard for me to get up the gumption to do anything. Um, I did, um, I, I did, um, I did, however, I watched this, uh, this, uh, YouTube channel, or his name is, uh, he's a YouTuber named Emperor Lemon. People might have heard me mention him, uh, from time to time, but, uh, he did a video on Jimmy Kimmel. I know how evil this guy is. Um, pretty educational stuff. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a big talk show person to begin with, but for the rare time that I actually ever would want to watch uh, talk shows, he's definitely a guy I'm steering clear of. Holy shit, the stuff he's done. But, uh, yeah, but he, but, uh, Emperor Lemon pretty much went on a big rant about this guy. So, Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil or anything. But, but like I said, if I was to ever watch late night talk shows, he's definitely one guy I'm avoiding. But like I said, I'm not a big. I don't follow late night talk shows anyway. Probably uh, not ever since the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. I think uh, once he died, uh, my interest in it pretty much dissipated. I wasn't even into David Letterman at all. Um, I mean. Probably the appeal of his show kind of went over my head. So. 
But yeah, um... <coughs> but I also... I played a, a little bit of a game called Slay the Spire. It's kind of a... It's a, it's a deck-building game. You know, you... You know, you're given a whole bunch of cards, and you gotta... It's, it, it's a deck-building RPG, if that makes any sense at all. I believe it was one of the first that ever came out. Like, one of the original. One of the originals. Oh, shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot to do something here. Hold on. I forgot to loop it. Okay, there we go. But yeah, but uh, I play that. I actually play that game fairly often. But at some point, I just I cried, Uncle. I mean, the game didn't suck. It wasn't terrible or anything like that. But at some point, I think probably what I saw is I saw the oh, I saw I saw the path kind of stretched out before me that it was just gonna be a rinse and repeat, kind of like um probably one of the things that killed it for me uh for Diablo two. Um, if that game there, if not for the fact that I had a hero editor, which is basically a game hack, you can like create items for it. You can, excuse me, you can create items, you can create characters from scratch, that kind of thing. If not for that, I probably would have given up on Diablo 2 a long time ago. Like maybe got my character to like level 4 or 5, which now that I think about, that's actually what I did. The very first time I played Diablo 2, I got my character to like 4 or 5. I said, at some point, I'm like, man, fuck this. So I ended up giving up on it. At some point later, I found a hero editor for it, so that rekindled my interest back into it again. So. But, uh, but anyway, um, I think I kind of saw the same thing with Slay the Spire. It was just going to be a, a lot of rinsing and a lot of repeating. So it just, I, I think once I realized that, I just stopped. But, but yeah, and like I, like I said about, like I said about this uh, Venus audio, what you're hearing here is taken from the, uh, the satellite, or the lunar lander, for lack of a better phrase, the, the lander that successfully made it to the surface. Yeah, th that, this is what you're hearing. This is what the surface of Venus look, sounds like. And um, and on this uh, video, there is a bunch of images that uh, the video is cycling through. But I'm trying to keep my uh, I'm trying to keep my file size down nice and low. That way, so it'll upload to YouTube and Twitch just like that. Cause um, one um, one upside I found by uh, just having having the planet with a black background is it's like it's less than 100 megabytes so that means uh, it takes only like a minute or two for these videos to get uploaded so. um but I know uh, and I did I, I think Probably one time I actually tried streaming Slay the Spire and Nobody showed up except maybe one person that was it So I don't think it's a game that a whole lot of people get into or at least they wouldn't want to watch somebody streaming it. So 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 much for that um But uh Oh, and uh, one other thing I'm starting to do is uh a lot a lot of these a lot of um uh, I think it started yesterday, but I started watching a uh, Dragon Ball Fighters videos. Damn, those things are fun to watch. I mean, it, it's oh, how can I put it? I think it's also the only game I can think of right off the top of my head where um where it's actually more exciting watching the pros fight than it would be watching beginners. Just because they, 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 they do so much on there. Um, whereas a game like uh, like Street Fighter, um, you could probably, you, you could, I mean, you could have, be whether whether they're beginners or experts, I can't really tell the difference. Um, probably the same with my, 
this probably the same as my all-time favorite uh, 2D fighter, Putsies. Um, for the, uh, I mean, for probably the very few or the very little footage that's out there of that game, whether they're beginners or whether they're beginners or whether they're experts, I can't really tell the difference. But with uh, with Dragon Ball Fighters, you can tell almost immediately. I mean, I can tell when uh, um, when I'll want to watch a replay of uh, me and this uh, other beginner. I've actually mentioned him before, Molten Lava. Watching uh, replays between me and him, you can definitely tell we're beginners. I mean, and you can definitely tell who the pros are in that game too. Freaking awesome, cool as hell to watch. So yeah, I'm. I've been pretty much a fiend for the for those kind of videos. And I guess, I guess in another way of looking at it, it's almost like a, it's like watching sports. Like if you watch like little league baseball, you know they're just little kids, totally new to the game, and probably gonna be a lot of uh, cringe-worthy moments. Then you watch like you watch like a major league game, a major league baseball game. You know, this is where the elite meet to eat. It's where all the pros are playing. I mean, a lot of a lot of highlight reel type stuff. Okay, that that is of course uh, when they're not when batters aren't or when batters and pitchers aren't calling for time and trying to stall. You know, trying to stall things for as long as possible. You know, that kind of stuff. So, you know, you know, kind of like that. And there's a. I think, uh, and for the for the very little footage of Guilty Gear's Drive that I've watched, kind of the same, kind of the same thing. Whether they're beginners or whether they're experts, I hardly notice the difference. So, but um, we're you know, but I mean, maybe like little subtle subtle differences here and there, but but that's probably about it. You know, but again, watching Dragon Ball Fighters, man, you're treated, you're treated to a freaking show, man. It's like cool as hell. So I guess that's probably uh, definitely one upside of that game. <sighs> Did it? Okay, no. Okay, the video's still going. All right. I thought it might have just, might have just up, up and stopped anyway, even though I set it to loop mode. And there was something else I was wanting to say, too. I can't remember what it was. I know I should have, I know I should have wrote it down. Oh, um... One thing, one thing off the top of my head, I also watched um, episode ten of Dragon Ball, and this is like the the second episode in a row where they didn't show any like pedo perv type stuff, like the stuff they've been showing, like uh, like Boma going in the nude and all that. So you don't know striptease. So I wonder if uh, it might be a coincidence. Or you know maybe um maybe at episode ten, the writers of Dragon Ball got chewed off for such a questionable content in a PG in a PG kids show. So like from here on out, it's just gonna be nice, clean, and family friendly. I mean, I mean I'm not I'm definitely not saying I actually enjoy seeing stuff like that, but you know it's to me it's kind of a rare gem seeing this kind of content in like a rated PG you know kids show like back in the 80s. I mean, the kind of stuff they were doing back then, I'm pretty damn sure it wouldn't fly these days. I mean, Door of the Explorer definitely comes to mind. Oh, and um, this was this was something I forgot to mention at the start of the cast. Um, as has been uh, as I as has I or as I've been doing recently, um, I'm uh, I've basically just been um, going off my blog post, so. But yeah, it, it just the the kids shows these days, they're 
I mean, again, stuff like Dora the Explorer and to a lesser extent, like uh, 90s Nickelodeon cartoons like Rugrats, um, Fairly Odd Parents. You know, I mean, little, little on the white bread side. So, so yeah, again, it's. But yeah, I think I found a, I think I found a rare gem in Dragon Ball. Not every day you got a kids show with like a, a perverted old man, an old pervert. I mean, Matt. I mean, Matt. I mean, Master Roshi, the old man in there. He kind of reminds me. Kind of reminds me of that song, um, "Pasties in a G String" by Tom Waits. He, he reminded me so much of Master Roshi. <laughs> like, this guy would have a ball in a strip club. And again, not the kind of thing you do. Not the kind of thing you'd see in a in a rated PG kid show. So. But alrighty, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and say close enough. I think I've uh, pretty much said all the things I wanted to say this morning. So actually, now that I think about it, I think I kind of rambled on a little too long. So. But anyway, it happens. Um, but otherwise, hey, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, hopefully I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully when I'm more awake. Or hopefully I'll remember to take a nap first before I do one of these. That way so I'm not... Uh, 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 so. But, but anyway, until then, until then everybody, um, see you all next time. Um, take care.